In this video, we're going to look at how to design a nice barbering saloon banner like this. And this is coming up. Hello everybody, you know Saint here and welcome to the channel once again. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe. If you're old here, thank you so much for coming back again. So as usual, links to download these items that I'm going to use in this particular video will be in the description, so check them out. And also don't forget to donate to support the channel. Now let's get into the video. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a banner size for this particular project. Now Photoshop doesn't guarantee you it's a banner size, but then this is how you go about. I'm using inches and then we're going to create the particular banner in feet. But then feet is not in photoshop so what you're going to do is you're going to if you want to use the millimeters or centimeters that is fine but i prefer to use the inches now one thing is 12 inches is equal to one feet so if i want to create a 5 by 3 banner that is going to be a 60 by 36 um, inches banner so i'm going to input 60 by 36 over here that is a 3 by five banner but you can see from here that the image size is very very huge i don't want to crash my machine so i'm going to decrease the resolution to 72 but of course you can increase the size if you want to and then i'm going to change my background content to white so after this i'm going to click ok and then you're supposed to have something like this now let's go back to our resources and the first thing that i'm going to import is this particular all these pictures were taken from google all right reserved to their owners so i want to use this as the background because i don't want it to be like that plain white or something like that so i just want to use this as the background but then it's going to be like i'm going to decrease it to the lowest opacity so i'm going to set this to something like 10 or 7 anyhow you want it but then not that's not that low not that high okay now what we're going to do next is we're going to create a rectangle under this one so i'm going to create my rectangle over here and then it's using the white color because the foreground color is white so i'm going to right click on it and go to the blending options and then i'm going to add a gradient to it i've already set the gradient so i'm just going to pick it up like this so afterwards I go back and then I'm going to tilt the angle a little bit like this to make it blend with that and then I click OK and that will be our first thing to do. So next off I'm going to create these circles that I'm going to import in the pictures. So what I do is because the rectangle is already created I'm going to add a new layer on top of it. I'll go here and select my ellipse tool and then I'm going to hold shift to get a perfect circle like this now this is what i'm going to do i'm going to change the color back to this particular main color that we're using that is this one and then i'm going to make a duplicate of this particular ellipse so i press ctrl and then j and then i'm going to change that color to white so after changing the color to white i press ctrl t to transform it and then i'm going to scale it down a little bit like this so that i'm going to have the border of course you can use stroke to do this very simply so let's try with this deep color also i think this one is fine and then i'll group the two here i'll hold shift and then select the second one and then i'll press ctrl g to group that one so that is going to be our first particular ellipse and then we're going to position it somewhere around here so i'm going to duplicate that and then i'll drag it to the bottom and then i'll position that one over here okay so i'll make a duplicate again and then i'll position the last one over here so apparently i'm going to have like three ellipses over there like sort of three circles over there so i try and position them over here and that's pretty much it now what we're going to do is you're going to open the circles and then you're going to add the images so this is the first circle that we did so you go back to our resources and then i'll import in my first image obviously you can take off the backgrounds if it is not nice but then 
I believe this background is nice so I don't need to and for the sake of time I don't need to take off the backgrounds if you want to see how to take backgrounds I'll link a video up in the card and in the description you can check it out so I place the first image here and then I go back to my second image and that will be here and then I'll go back to my resources and then I'm going to place this particular image over there so I transform it like this and then I right click and go to create clipping mask and then it has to be here okay so you can see that this particular first one is overlapping it so I can easily that is why we grouped it so I can easily drag it to this side like that and that will make space for this one to be available but then the head the hairstyle is the most important thing so i believe it's if it's showing that is pretty fine so the last one would come here but then let me drag that one also a little bit to this side so that i can open it go back to my resources and then drag this fine gentleman over here please if you know him let me know and then i position him over here right click and then create a clipping mask so i can rotate him a little bit like this so that his haircut will show them more now his this particular thing this whole thing is big a little bit so let me squeeze it out so that his picture can show more now i'll press ctrl t and transform it and then it has filled just like that so from here we can select the whole of these three and then we open it up a little bit just try to squeeze it out you can play around with it that is that is very fine with whatever you want to do with this but i believe we can change this background like the one around it to the dark one i believe that is going to be fine so let me do that and see yes i think the dark one let me know in the comment section which one you love best either the light one over there or this very dark one and then that is it so moving on we're going to add a test to this so that is going to be the main test so we go for the test tool and then we're going to write Inno over here i'm going to use the font a vertical insert one of my favorites and then i'm going to change the color to this particular color right over here now i'm going to press ctrl t to resize it and then make it a bit bold so that you all can see right over here so i right click and go to the blending options and then i'm going to add the gradient overlay that we added in the first part of the rectangle so the same thing and then i'll click ok now you tilt the angle to fit the size that you want and then you click ok so that is it the next one that we're going to do is we're going to add a classic hairstyle or a classic haircut to this so i'm going to press ctrl j to duplicate this one right click and clear the layer style the layer style is basically the gradient that we added to the test so if you clear the layer style it makes this particular test empty just like we've written it afresh so i'm going to change this particular font to a font called quick keys so this quick keys over here is going to serve as the font that we're going to use for the classic haircuts okay if this doesn't sound good to you suggest a proper name for this particular haircut because you're going to operate it very soon so after doing this what we're going to do next is we're going to import in the other files that is the stuff that i've grouped them i intentionally did this because i didn't want to bring different stuffs together like the sporting waves hair cream and then the machine the scissors and all these things so i just grouped them together to make life easier for you so you can copy the same thing or you can of course go the other way around download it yourself and then you do it yourself next off i'll bring in my Hair cream over here let me know in the comment section which hair cream or hair food you use for your hair so i'm going to open it up a little bit like this and then i'm going to do a quick tip or trick over here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click and then rasterize this layer 
press ctrl j to duplicate it and the one beneath it we're going to press ctrl t right click and then turn it to vertical now i'm going to drag this to the down like that and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn off the opacity to about 10 percent so that is basically creating a shadow so i'm going to add the layer mask and then i'm going to brush off areas that i don't want so apparently like this and then i've created my nice shadow over there so that will be it for these two stuffs that i added finally i'm going to add my telephone number to this or perhaps my phone so i'm going to drag this and drop it inside of photoshop and then i'll bring it over here press ctrl t and then i'll transform it nicely like this make sure it is placed over here now what i do is i right click and then rasterize right click again and go to the blending options and then i'm going to change the color to white so white will be visible for everyone to see and then i can zoom in to make sure that it is positioned nicely over there lastly we're going to add the number to it so i'm going to pick the test tool and then start to write the number the font color has to be white over here and then the font has to be acrobat my favorite of course and then it change it to semi bold and then i'll add my number to it so after this i'm going to position it right over here and press ctrl t to transform it a little bit so that it will be nice over here you can of course add a sort of shadow to it now we're almost done but then we don't want to leave this place just empty like that so we go back to the rectangle and then we're going to add this particular polygon over here now the polygon you can set the sizes to any size you want but then we want the rectangle one so we're going to set it to three and then we're going to draw a polygon over here that is the rectangle and then we're going to change the color to this dark particular violet over here and then we set it over here and then we are good to go so that's pretty much it i hope this video was helpful if it was please don't forget to like and subscribe and then i'll see you guys in the next one innocent here and bye